Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to do a lash lift kit at home. Figured I'd show you guys how it goes. This is the package that I found on Amazon and I actually got this months ago, but don't worry, it's not expired. It's good until 2021. So we're in the clear. Basically, it comes with one glue, four perms, oh, perm lotions, five lift pad lift pads and cleaning tools the directions are here so let me just have them handy i should probably bring my bangs out of my way so use the cleanser to clean off any excess oil so i'm gonna do my left eye first i'm kind of annoyed i really wish i had q-tips but whatever okay so remove all the oils from your eyeballs apply the eye pads on the bottom i on the bottom of eyelids I don't have iPads. This doesn't come with iPads. I'm confused. There's lift pads, but there's no iPads. Okay, well, we're just gonna try not to get anything from at the bottom of our eyelids. So now we're going to put the lift pads. I feel like this is pretty good. And we're gonna glue them down. Apply the glue on the eyelashes to keep them stuck on the pad. So, I think I'm gonna put it on the pad first. This is not working well. Okay. I don't want to touch my hand. I don't want to put my hand on it. My lashes are not listening. Oh my god, it's not working. <laughs> okay, so I got to push it with my own fingers, I guess. Okay, there we go. It's a little better. Okay, I think that's as good as they're gonna get. Oh my god, this is so hard. I don't know if this video is gonna be any good. Okay, they're all down. So now... I need to get my plastic film because I need to cover with plastic film. And it's gonna be a little piece. Let it settle on the lift pads for one minute. So we're gonna sit here for one minute. I look insane. Okay, so the lash thing has dried. I apologize if you hear David in the background playing his damn video games. Can't win around here. So now I'm gonna put the little perm number one on my little ladle. Oh god, this is a struggle. I really wish I had Q-tips right yeah. now. Yeah. Oh, my thing is moving. <laughs> At least it's yeah. stuck on there. Do you have any claymores or C4s? Don't want to get it too close to your eyeball. Didn't say how much to put, so... I'm just gonna put just enough to coat all my little lash hairs. I'm just gonna leave myself like this for 10 minutes. It said 8 to 12, but I feel like 10 is good. I'll be back. Okay, so it's been about 12 minutes-ish. And I didn't put the um, plastic thing because it was just not staying on my eye. It wasn't happening. So I just let the thing run its course. And now I'm going to apply the number 2 fixing agent. I'm going to sacrifice another bobby pin. And the little perm one kind of took off the dye of my um, black bobby pin. So for future usage of this, I think I'm, I'm going to make sure I have Q-tips. That's one lesson learned. Make sure you have Q-tips. Okay. All right. So now we're going to apply this the same way we applied the perm. I'm like so afraid of getting way too close to my eye. That's done. This is a little stressful, but hopefully the end result will be worth it, okay? <laughs> so I'm gonna wait another 12 minutes-ish and then I'll see you guys again. <laughs> it's been 15 minutes, so now the next step is to clean off the shit. Okay, it's set to clean it off. That's pretty good. And then to apply the nourishing lotion and I'm just gonna uh, use the cotton pad again man i wish i had q-tips <laughs> it's like this yellow looking oil stuff kind of looks like olive oil oh no she's coming off gotta nourish nourish my lashes after that is the cleaning process i'm supposed to take the cleaner and i'm just gonna use this to clean off all the residue of the perm oh my god I think I have a little cotton, cotton in my eye. <laughs> and then I'm gonna take the cleaning brush and the piece with the little teeth. 
I'm just gonna run through my lashes. <gasps> I'm losing lashes, you guys. This is not okay. Perm is like really in there. Um, here's what it looks like. It's pretty lifted, I guess. I mean, if you compare my left and my right, obviously it's much more lifted. I'm gonna grab a spoolie. This is actually a spoolie I've never used. So what I'm gonna do is gonna I'm gonna dip it in the cleanser. I'm kind of scared. I feel like this is the best way to clean off the the perm stuff. Yeah, there's definitely still like perm in my lashes right now. Okay, that spoolie definitely helped. The direction I'm moving is always up because I don't want to mess up all the work I just did. And to be honest, an eye makeup remover might do the do the trick when it comes to removing the perm because I keep losing lashes here and I'm just I'm not about it. Okay, so now I'm just gonna do my other eye off camera and I'm going to share my opinions on the process and all that good stuff. <laughs> Because it's just a lot of stress. Okay, finally, I'm done. My lashes are lifted. So I did my right one. And I feel like my right eye turned out a lot better than my left eye. Um, that could be because what I did different is I put a lot more of the perm and the fixing, like the blue cream, um, on this eye than I did on this eye. Um, in terms of the application, I made like... I coated the entire thing and left a little bit of a thicker coat instead of just like wiping it on like I did with this eye so that may have helped for this eye I didn't put as much glue I don't think because I had to push it up a lot and um, push it up against the the the, the lid thingy-majig <laughs> don't know if that made any difference but yeah all right so I'm gonna zoom myself out and I'm gonna take my bangs down and now I'm gonna talk about um, the process okay kind of kind of uh, screwed myself over here so this was a little bit harder than I thought to be quite honest um, this would be a lot easier if you have somebody at home with you that can help you apply this stuff on your eyes and it'll just turn out a lot nicer and I feel like a lot cleaner um, and definitely a lot more even because I feel like this eye is definitely more like this and this one's more like this <laughs> if you're doing this by yourself be very mindful when you're applying the lash glue to make sure that your lashes are all going up instead of like out um, because this one went out a little bit more and it just looks a little bit thicker on the outer end of my eye versus this one it's kind of equally fluttered just be very patient and just just wait Enter entertain yourself with a podcast a youtube video something while you wait for the perm and the fixing to set because if you take it out earlier than you uh, then you should you're not going to get the results that you want i guarantee it even with the ones that I, this eye i left a little bit longer than the left eye maybe that's why it also looks a little bit darker it could also just be because I have more like thicker lashes on this eye. So there are a lot of different factors that play into how these will turn out. For my first time, it wasn't terrible. Um, I was just high stress in general because I was afraid to get anything in my eye because eyes are very sensitive. So I'm just very paranoid. The application will get easier the more often you do it. I think I'm going to try to do this every week and a half, two weeks and just to keep up with it and to train my lashes to just be up. Um, if you don't know this about my lashes, my lashes don't hold curl at all. That's why I don't even own a eyelash curler I don't even bother with it because it just pisses me off um, the only thing that keeps my lashes up are la like getting lash lifts this is definitely doable um, you just have to make sure you have a very steady hand um, if you don't and you know you don't um, <laughs> find someone in your household hopefully during this uh, quarantine that you have somebody at home that will help you but again you can definitely do it yourself this kit is also really helpful because everything was pretty much set up for you all the directions are in the back I think now that I'm a little bit more aware of how to do it I'll probably venture into different kits that offer more products because i've also learned that you need a lot more of the cleanser than you do the the other three um perm products the cleanser you use a lot of because you know you want to get the perm and the gunk out of your eye if you look at um how much i have left of it i'm like almost halfway through with it and with the other guys like i've barely touched it like even with like the nutrition 
barely touched it so there's still a lot of product left and i know by the time i keep doing it i'm gonna have an uneven ratio of product so that's kind of annoying i kind of wish that they measured things out to to the um level of how much you need versus everything in, the, in one bottle but that's just one little little thing that annoys me i do kind of wish they'd tell you that you need q-tips because it was a little bit harder to apply the product with this ladle thing just because I don't have as much control because of how large it is. If you use a Q-tip, you might be wasting more products because the Q-tip might um, absorb it. So I have yet to find the perfect little tool to apply. Um, I tried to avoid using my actual fingers because I don't really want to like get that gunk all over me. I mean, this did the job. Maybe like a smaller one, like half the size, would be a lot better to have more precise application. Um, you could also even just use this end of the little cleaning tool that you're given um, this comb is actually really really helpful um, i found that it's really good for removing the perm it really like latches your lashes um, the downside is that it latches a little bit too much to where i lost a few lashes on this eye that could also be why this one looks a lot thicker and just more voluminous you're also going to need one of these guys, a spoolie. I use the spoolie to remove, um, to use the, remo the, the cleanser. It was a lot better at getting like in between each hair. So if you have a spoolie, use a designated spoolie for your lash lift kit, which this is now my designated spoolie for that. And that's pretty much all I have to say about it. I don't really have anything negative to say about it. Um, it's just that the process is very tedious and it requires a lot of patience. But I mean, that goes for every lash lift kit I feel like you use. But the products itself are great. The way these turn out is really, really nice. I love it. I hope this video was helpful. Um, if you want to purchase the same lash lift kit as me, I will link it down below. I hope this video entertained you in some way, shape, or form. And I'm going to have some lunch now. My stomach is growling at me. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you guys next week. Bye!